What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in our video today, we're taking a look at all the spawn locations for the Cabal VIP target. So if you're trying to get this triumph done for your chosen seal, then be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating and comment down below. Huge shout out to Little Nasty, Mythic Wyvern, Dev Patel Gaming, Risk Runner, and Phoebix. They all left a comment in the first hour of my previous video, so huge shout out to them. And if you want a shout out too, be sure to leave a comment down below within the first hour of this video going live. Now, if you are new here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content as well, then be sure to hit subscribe too. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now, yesterday saw an update to Season of the Chosen, and with that, if you have the Season Pass right now, you can gain access to the Proving Ground, which is a brand new strike introduced this season. It also forms a key mission, part of the narrative for this season too. Won't be any spoilers necessarily in this video, but there is an amazing cutscene that I highly recommend that you take the time to watch. Now, with the introduction of this strike, we also got some new triumphs, and by completing some of these triumphs, you can now obtain the new Chosen Seal, which is the title for the current season. Now, one of the brand new triumphs that you need to complete to get your hands on the new seal right now is called eliminate Kaitor's cabal so you need to eliminate all the cabal vips in the strike proving grounds and there are 10 vips in total including ignivan who is the final boss now it's not possible to get all these vip targets in a single run you will need to run this on multiple occasions as not only can there be different vip targets but they can also be replaced with other yellow bars such as the halfus honor guard which are fellow centurions and what we're going to do in this video is break down which VIP spawn where so if you're chasing down a specific one for your title do you know which areas to look when approaching the proving grounds now the very first one and an impossible one to miss is called Valis Osizus and he's a centurion that spawns at the very beginning of the strike as you enter the land tank this is a key mechanic for the strike itself so he is impossible to miss because if you don't defeat him you won't even be able to get inside the land tank to complete the strike it's the same enemy each and every time so he is almost a guaranteed target each time you jump into proving grounds now as you work your way through the strike there are no further vips until you get to the tank room now there are two phases inside this room and each phase can spawn up to two vips but in this room though vips can also be replaced with the halfus on a guard which we mentioned earlier these are yellow bars but these are not vip targets now the first phase in this room is when the interceptors spawn and this has a chance to spawn two vip targets and one of those is called val Cladior, and they spawn and come out at the same time as the interceptors on the left hand side of this room now another vip that has a chance to spawn in this first phase with the interceptors is optus taxat and they are a scion a yellow bar scion now i've seen these spawn from the door at the back right hand side but also the left hand side as well they will only appear when the interceptors spawn so be sure to take time when taking them out as you do want to allow as many waves of as to spawn as possible per phase ensuring that you're giving yourself the highest chance possible for these vip targets to spawn now the second phase of this room is when the tanks spawn at the far side of the room now i was very fortunate enough to get both vip targets spawn in the same phase one of those is called val conquest and they spawn from the door on the left hand side at the back side of the room just as the land tank spawns now the second centurion you want to be keeping an eye out for is val trekasus and they spawn spawn on the right hand side out of the door completely opposite to the previous VIP target they'll spawn roughly around the same time as the land tanks come out as well so once again be sure to keep an eye out for them and if you don't see either of those targets then they've likely been replaced with an Halfus on a guard it most definitely helps if you are a part of a fire team so you can keep track of who is killing what and call out when VIP targets appear now once you've taken out all the VIP targets in the tank room and cleared out the rest of the ads we are free and ready to move on to the next part of the proving ground strategy strike this is the treadmill room with the power cores and once again there are two phases to this part of the strike now each phase has a chance to spawn one of two vrp targets now in the very first power core room you'll have a chance to spawn val sempus and also val vinca r both of them can be found as soon as you enter the door in the first part of this phase of the strike and once defeating them you'll need to clear the ads in the area pick up the power core before moving on to the next section of this area now it's important to remember that only one of those vrp targets will spawn at any one time so if you're chasing a specific one and it didn't spawn for you in your particular run of the proving grounds then it's very likely you'll need to rerun the strike and hopefully get it on a future run now moving on to the second phase of the power cores when you enter the treadmill room once again you have a chance to spawn one of two vrp targets one of those is called optus Voca, and they are a scion and the other one is called valviorthus and much like the previous room you only have a chance to spawn one of those two 
VIP target. So once again, if you're chasing a specific one and it didn't spawn for you, you'll need to rerun the proving grounds and fingers crossed the one you're looking for spawns on a future run. Now, as far as I've seen in regards to the power core rooms, these will never spawn a Halthus on a guard. They only spawn in the tank room itself so you are guaranteed a vip target in this room whether it's the one that you need or not though is a completely different question altogether and as i said before if the one that you do need doesn't spawn then you will need to do another run with the hope of getting it on your next one so all in all that takes us up to nine vip targets to get this triumph to complete you need to achieve all 10 with the final one being ignovan chosen of Kaitor. ignovan is the final boss in this strike so much like the very first boss when entering the land tank this one is a guaranteed guaranteed spawn as it's the same strike boss each and every run and once you've defeated ignovan you will have all 10 vip targets and will have successfully completed that triumph and being one step closer to unlocking the chosen seal this season now i have seen a lot of comments and questions around a hidden triumph in the bottom left hand side of the seasonal seal itself this is in fact for some of the collectibles over on the glycon as part of the press house mission each week there is a handful of scannables that you can scan each and every week i made a video covering all the locations to to all the scannables in that mission so if you haven't got that triumph and haven't completed the previous triumphs in terms of scannables then be sure to utilize that video i'll leave the link to that down in the video description below too and that could be one of the missing puzzle pieces you need to get your hands on the chosen seal this week so there we have it guys a good look at all the spawn locations to all the vip targets in the proving ground strike so if you're missing one or two and aren't too sure where to look hopefully this guy can provide some of those missing puzzle pieces now if you have enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating and comment down below and remember guys if you leave a comment within the first hour of this video going live then you have a good chance of getting a shout out in my next video now if you are new here i want to keep up to date with all the latest destiny 2 content as well then be sure to hit subscribe i'm going to jump back into the game as always guys and i will catch you all again very soon soon.